Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today we'll be continuing our journey from Glazebrook up to Wigan Central. So this was uh, built by the MSLR in 1884. Obviously that was incorporated by the uh, Great Central Railway. So this originally had a passenger service that went from Manchester Central to Wigan Central. There was a branch halfway up that went to St. Helens Central. So yes, there were seven stations on this line, but there was one additional one added in 1943. This served the ammunition works. So this closed to passengers in 1964, and it closed completely in 1968. This is gonna be a very challenging walk, so let's get on with it. Here we are at Glaze Brook Station, as we continue our journey along the Great Central through to Wigan. So we're looking back now at Glazebrook Junction East. Can you see the signal box? That's where we finished that trip when we went over the Caddishead line, you know, from Skelton Junction. So then the line came through here, through the Glazebrook station, and it eventually led on to another triangle. That's where Glazebrook West Junction was, and that's the line that will take us through to Wigan. Now this is a very challenging route, and it's also a very rough route but uh, I'm really looking forward to it. Bring it on. Even the bus shelters look posh around here. That's what I like about these stations. I wish they were all kept like this. This is fantastic. So that's the main line that we were just on. And this is the start of the triangle. If you can see it, it skims round. And the other side of the triangle, just follow the tree line. It's all the way along to rejoin the line again up there. So this whole field was part of the original railway triangle. This is where we'll be joining it. Here we are trackside. So as you can see, we're looking back at the triangle, this is where Glazebrook Junction West signal box used to be. So this is the start of the branch that takes us up to Wigan. As you can see, it's still looking pretty clear at the moment. So it's from here that we'll nip round and start following this trail. Wish me luck. As you can see, we're near the neck of the triangle now. That's the other connection. This is what we've been through. Hell! No route. Oh my god. So here we are, we're at the neck. I feel like Christopher Columbus. Undiscovered country. No one has been through here. No one in a thousand years. Wow, that's looking back on myself. This is looking ahead, there's nothing. It's just nettles galore. Not one walker has been up here. I don't blame them. Well come on, we're going to do it. Oh, why does it always happen to me at the start of the trip, eh? It is very unpassable. I've ripped my pants, they're soaking wet, nettle stings. But just for you guys, I'm going to carry on. Trust me, that route is very, very unwalkable. Don't try it. Anyway, I've reached the, uh, the first of our barriers. It's the M62 motorway. Apparently we've got to go round this. Hopefully the terrain is a little better. I think the motorway may have stopped the walkers from doing that essential bit. So here we are, we've made it to the other side. And uh, same old I'm afraid. Trees, nettles. <laughs> but that's what lies ahead, even more nettles. Oh, this trip's got to get easier, surely. Hopefully you can see with these trees, half our pathway is now a roadway and half the railway is, I just say, rough and ready. As you can see, just, just follow them trees up. That is the line of the railway. So I think we're now back on track, even though half of it's been converted, but 
Hey ho, I can see daylight again. Bring it on. As you can see, there are some remnants on the line. But I strongly suspect these are ex-farmers remnants rather than ex-railway remnants. It's like a museum on here, but unfortunately it's a farm museum. Well, it looks like the railway track's been put to good use around here. Somebody's been here busy with the honey. I better get away before I get stung by a bee. I've got enough sting by nettles. Yeah, that's where we're heading towards, as you can see with the tree line. It curves round. And that's where we've just been. Nice and straight again. Oh, bring it on. Oh my God, just when I thought things were getting better, we're back in the hellhole again. Oh, I'm too old for this. So a couple of hundred yards from that last shot, we did get rid of the foliage and it looks like we are in like a woodedish type area. This is the track bed. As you say, not a lot of people walking it, but luckily the trees are keeping the weeds at bay. Let's see how long this lasts, eh? Here's a few R clues from the past, like a telegraph pole of some sort. As you can see, we have got a bit of a clearing. Hopefully this is a sign of uh, good things to come. Let's go. And as you can see, Bali's beginning to show itself. Well, wow, that's the route we just walked. That was hell. Luckily, I think I've got a pathway now. Hopefully. Hopefully a pathway up to culture, cultus. Let's follow it, let's see where it leads. Whoa, this is a painful ride. A nice uh, bridge covering our line. Still intactish. It's decaying a bit, but it's still there. Let's keep going. Here's a quick update on the line as we approach cultus. As you can see, it's clearing but there's still plenty of obstacles in the way. Let's find this a halt just before Colchester. Let's see if I can find any traces of that. So I'm now flush with the track. But can you see that bit protruding out there? That was a branch. This branch line served an ordnance works at Risley and was opened in 1941. In fact, it was that big. It had connections with this line and the last line that we originally started at. They even built a new station here to serve the staff, and that was done at New Church Halt. I think that opened in 1943. Let's check it out. As you can see, we've got plenty of sidings to serve the um, Royal Ordnance Factory at Risley. Our main line was here. So you can see it was spreading out, and we are coming up to a bridge now. Now, just beyond this bridge, hopefully, we'll find a station called New Church Halt. I'm not sure what remains. Let's check it out. Wow, the stairs are still here. The stairs are here on both sides. This is brilliant. Oh, I thought this station was long gone. <laughs> There's a lot of foliage ahead of me, so I'm not sure what's actually there, but I'm certainly going to have a look. Yeah, look at that. Wow, fantastic. A lot of brickwork and a bit of... Uh, Mounds at the side, which usually had an indication of where the platforms used to be. And even clearer on this side. In fact, this is actually the public footpathway. Not sure about that route though. Hey ho. Yeah, just more of them mounds, I'm afraid. More of those mounds. So this is where the platforms were. So here we are at Warrington Road, just outside of Culchis. The next stop will be Colchester Station. Let's go and find it. Wow, this is how railway walking should be all about. Not going through that hell we've been through. I hope this is a story of things to come. Here we are guys, we finally made it to Colchester Station. Colchester Station is the other side of this bridge. Let's see what remains, eh? This is generally where the station was. But there was a pathway coming up from both sides of the road. So this is where the station was. You see where them cars are? That's where the good shed was. You just check the map out, you'll see exactly where it was. It looks like it's a cutting ahead. Let's check that out. And this is looking back at the station. As you can see, we can't see much. Looks like some nice stonework here. Might have been from the original signal box. 
got some really, really old ancient things around here. Talking of which, hello oh, mate. Oh, hiya. <laughs> Shredder here. <laughs> I've been walking with Alan and all, but I've been doing the easy bits. Alan's been walking the overgrown sections of the Great Central Line. And I've done about three and a half miles of it so far, but on the, on the decent bit, underfoot. This is the site of Culture Railway Station. There's a site of the old signal box. And this is a linear park. We've got about, I've just walked up there about a mile and I walked just over a mile back. Uh, you then met with a railway line, which is still active. You can't get past that, so... So yeah, we just crossed the line, and unfortunately, this is what lies ahead. That is very, very, it's in a valley, but there's tons of foliage. There isn't an access point or anything. I don't think anybody's ever been down there. And here she is from the other side. There isn't even a walking path. Nobody's walked that. At least I could crawl on that early route, but this is no go. No go whatsoever. I'll see if I can get an access point again from further up. So just beyond where that trees are is where that bridge is that we took the last shot from. Luckily I got along the edge of the field here I managed to get down. We're now back on trackside. Let's get some nice shots on trackside. Let's get to, is it Loughton? Loughton? We'll see. Chaos is getting chaotic but looks like we've got a bridge coming up ahead. Let's check it out. As you can see the track is just about traceable. Even if those sting marks are coming through again, but whoa, nice. Same as before, the route is rugged, but just about passable. If you keep your hands high, away from them nettles. Looks like there was a few pegs on that post. So here we are, we hit Civilization. This is the East Lanks, uh, East Lanks, the A580. We're going under. So here's the final approach, coming up to Loughton Station. Fountain St Mary's is it called? And here we have another great central bridge. Wow, station's not far, I promise you. Well, hiya guys, well, be behind me is the site of Loughton St Mary's railway station. It went under the road here, under a road bridge. It was actually a junction because just beyond the bridge, beyond what was the station, the great central line separated them with one half going to St Helens Central which we've walked before, and the, the, the main section going on to Wigan Central, what used to be Wigan Central Station, up through the, the branch to Bickershaw Colliery and Indley Green. So we're going to carry on and carry on walking towards, well, towards Wigan, really. As Nick said, this is where the line split. You're going to the left, you're going to St Helens, going to the right, you're going to Wigan. Both of them ending at a central station. Let's follow the line to Wigan. So same as before, not the clearest of routes, but luckily there's a footpath just to the left of me, which makes it a lot easier to transverse. So let's keep going. Yeah, so although there is a footpath at the side here, if you look at here, this is a railway fencing. You can see with a number of holes in it. So yes, I think half the track has been made into the footpath and half of it's been abandoned. So that should make it an easy trek. I'm not sure about finding clues. Let's see what we can find, mate. And if you look over to the left, you can see that's the branch line, follow the trees, going to St. Helens. Wow, let's keep going. Now I've just come to this open area. This is too open and too flat, just to be coincidence. I wouldn't be surprised if there were some sidings here. So we're nowhere near uh, the junction that'll take us to Bickershaw or anything. It's just on the way, but it's very suspiciously wide, as you can see with the railway borders. There was definitely something here. I can put my, put my money on it. And just about reaching the neck of those um, open area. Load of brickworks, maybe shunting huts or something. Yep, the clues are here to be found. You just need to look for them. There she is, beautiful. The line, let's follow it. Oh my god, definitely a mixed terrain here. It is brambles now, and they're painful. Wow, I've not seen any of this for a while. Maybe we are getting to the bare bones of the things, eh? 
So uh, Big CR Junction should be coming up pretty soon. Oh no, there's a bridge out. I don't think I could be jumped that much. It's like we're going down and up, mate. Oh dear. How do I get back up there? Jesus. Oh dear. We're nearly at Bickershaw Junction. I think it's the station just before it as well, so. Hey ho, we're doing pretty well. The pathway, as you can see, has become a bit more walkable. Let's see what happens at Bicky, yeah? Well, that's where we've just come from. And that's where we're heading to. As you can see, there's a bridge out. And it's uh, just beyond here, we'll find Wesley and Bedford Station. Nicknamed Plank Lane, I believe. Then we've got Bickenshaw Junction. Well, there's that bridge that's out from the other side. And this is the route ahead. Not very clear, but still passable. Let's give it a go. Oh dear. And just over this bridge is the site of the Wesley and Bedford Station. Let's see what remains from out of that. Here we are. Looks like we may have the steps that went up to the original station. Wow, let's see what remains, eh mate? So what we're looking at now is the location of Bickershaw Junction. Basically, the main line went straight ahead to Wigan and it went off to the right to, surprise, surprise, Bickershaw Colliery. Now this was a very busy colliery and it had several railway companies with lines leading into it. Obviously, it wants to get its coal here, there and everywhere. As you can see, we have got a lot of bricks around here, but no real signs of the structure itself. That's the thing about these bricks, they can be demolished and smashed up into small pieces, whereas the concrete ones, you know yourself, they could be a bit more resourceful. I keep looking, but there's no signs of any platforms. Like you say, there was a good bay over there. It was chaos, really, but nothing yet. I keep looking. Wow, 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 that is perfect. There's a railway wall for you. Fantastic. Look, oh, this structure, it's here. You just have to be a bit more patient, Alan. Look, oh yes. And we've got the platform edges. Stone ones. Whoa, this was like, say, one of the bays going through. This looks like uh, the main track. This is there, the platforms. It's still here. This is amazing. That might have been an overbridge. Look at it. Here, there, and everywhere. This is a gold mine. Oh, I could spend all weekend here. So there wasn't much room here for the goods. So like you say, that was the track and that was then the junction that went off. So all this was all railway structures, whether it had to do with the stations, whether it was over bridges. Ooh, thank you. All right, let's see what else we can find. As you can see, there is signs of ballast here. Not a lot, but you know this is where it was. Wow, look what I just found. Just a bit further up, very close to the junction where it splits. Whoa. Very nice. Excellent, in fact. Deep in the woods, you can still see the remains. And you might be able to hear in the background, it sounds like some motocross thing coming up. Let's see how that interferes with our railway walk. Few reminders of a busy era, I suppose. Oh, don't know what this is. Looks railway five. Maybe a signal box been smashed up. It's everywhere. It's everywhere. So we just come down one of the branch lines here just to see what's going on. This is where the bricks works used to be. Again, uh, there's a number of what we call colliery spurs came off here, there, and everywhere, all joined up to each other. Oh, just wanted to see out, but not a lot to see, I'm afraid. Let's get back to the main track. Oh, that was chaos. Brambles, nettles a lot, you know, like at the beginning. And this is where it's going now. It's like some kind of motocross place, running alongside it. So here we are on the, uh, the main line again. I've just got escorted very politely from the site because it was being used by motocross. But this is back online again, flush with these, uh, flush with these trees. So this is the line, and that's where it's supposed to go. 
looks like it's been landscaped so uh, hey ho good luck with finding that wow as you can see this has totally been landscaped this should take you straight now through to Bickershaw station how do I get to that well hiya guys we're at the site now of what was Bickershaw and Abraham railway station great central railway station it come from that direction the platforms was actually here what you're looking at now I believe behind us is what might have been the uh, station hotel. Looks like it was a big pub and hotel or something. So it's hell of a building, but the new houses to the uh, left of it, I suspect that's where, well that is where the track bed will be gone. Well here we are on the other side of the Bickershaw station, just across the road. Now we were just down there, but we got pulled up by some of the prison officers Apparently you're not allowed to film within a 30, sorry, a 300 metre radius of the prison in case you're planning an escape or something crazy like that. But that gives you an idea on where the track was. We shall hopefully pick it up now from where the tunnel went all underneath. So bear with me. So we got round that prison and we're on the other side on the bridge that overlooked the Cheshire Lines. So here it is and look at it. It's a swamp. Oh my goodness, I'm glad I didn't walk that. Anyway, this was an old mineral line at the side that's been taken out. And here's that same cutting on the other side looking towards Wigan. Just as wet, I'm afraid. And that's where the bridge has been taken out. Another bridge, as it were. Very busy junkie on this. So here's an important part of the line. This is where it splits, splits into three parts. It's two parts which will lead onto the LNWR line which goes to Eccles, Tisley and Wigan. Well that's what the line's called anyway. And this is other line, which is the main line that we're following, like you say, which is the great central line, which was again the Woodhead line, you know, the Lincoln line and everything else prior to that title. So I'll follow both of them because they're running pretty parallel to each other at the moment and see what clues appear. This line that we're walking, we're coming up to a junction shortly, and that's where we just walked from. Oh, and hidden amongst all this chaos, we're finally reminded that there was once a railway here, as this is the post of a gradient marker. This is the site of Hindley South Station, originally called Strangeway in Hindley. So there's no signs of the platforms, apparently they're in this very deep pond where them trees are. So we're very close now to the Amberwood Triangle. Let's see what clues we can find over there, eh mate? As you can see, it's pretty dense-ish, but it's walkable. So it's a pleasant walk. I have to say, I feel like a nature walk again. There's no real railway clues to find yet. Well, this is where Mother Nature takes over. There's no sign of the railway at all. Just this big massive lake, there used to be a big junction here. Junction for the lines uh, crossing over, a massive triangle, but no signs of any railway. No signs at all. Should have been a line going up there, but nothing to be seen. Right, so just past that lake, I've followed the route. I think I've actually found me a railway line at last. Somewhat straight. Oh, and level. I think this is our line. Bring it on. Well, with the help of mankind, our Mother Nature has finally taken over this area. I think there used to be the railway through here, somewhere. And it went over there. And you haven't got a clue. It has been totally redeveloped. You wouldn't have thought there was a mass of railways here. Apparently there was three railway lines all met. I cannot find a clue, I'm afraid. This is baffling. This is not the track, although it's nice and straight. The track is somewhere in that foliage. But it has been well developed, this area. I'd say this been area has been made into a nature reserve. We're back on track again, but it looks a bit green at the moment. Not much sign of railways, just plenty of sign of nature. Oh dear, looks like we're gonna get a bit wet. Here she is. Railway line in all its glory. 
I knew I should have come before that storm yesterday. Bad news, I'm afraid. Yeah, I've been walking this line for pretty, pretty long now, and this waterway just goes on and on and on. So I'm on a bridge now. I think this was a railway line that used to go to Springs Branch. I'll just check that out. But as you can see, there is no signs of this railway line. It's uh, Unless you've got a snorkel, some diving gear, I don't think we're going to find many clues. Like I say, I think they just filled this in for the fishermen. While I was walking along that track bed, there was more of them than there were train spotters, put it that way. Still on that bridge, and yes, that is the route we should have been taking, going underneath. So unless you've got a boat, we're going nowhere at the moment, we'll have to uh, retrace it. As I say, the line above it, that was the line, the Springs Branch line, that's uh, it's owned by the Langston Yorkshire Railway. Oh dear, that's a shame. Well, here's the reason. Yes, this water has been dammed. So effectively, I think they put up this barrier to allow the water to stay, so as to make it a natural feature. So it was done on purpose. Right, so I'm following this trail that runs parallel with the line. Apparently it's in all this major overgrowth. So there's not really a lot to see. There is a bridge over on the side there, so I'll have a look to see if there's any clues appearing. So here we reach the location of the station on the trip. This was the location of Lower Inns Railway Station. Uh, it was really low, it was really underneath, it's been heavily filled in. But uh, this is where it used to be. As you can see, not a lot of clues other than that uh, turret on that bridge as it were. Right, let's keep going. Uh, just to the left here, this used to be the site of an engine shed. This was a lower ins engine shed. See them new houses? Basically they built a massive row of houses exactly on the site. There's no sign of any railway infrastructure at all. Sorry about that. Right, let's keep on the trail. So here we are, as you can see we've got a bridge here. This was a railway bridge that went over our line. This was on the main line running from Wigan to Ince and beyond. So this line is still in use. In fact, this is one of the only lines that's really still in use, as the rest was all used for industry that are well gone. Well, that's where the line came through. There should have been a bridge here, a railway bridge, to take it over the canal. Unfortunately, there's no sign of it. So here's Wigan's original terminus. This was Darlington Street, opened in 84, shut in 92. And this is the location of Darlington Street Goods Shed. As you can see, it has been rebuilt. I don't think this is the, uh, one of the original structures, do you? This is where we're heading. So just trace it back, it skimmed this car park, went through that grass verge, and went beyond to the station and the bridge, etc. We're now on the final approach into Wigan Central. If you look ahead, you can see them flats. That is where the line went. Flush where that fence is. Let's check it out. So here we are at the terminus. This is Wigan Central. Where that shopping centre is across the road is where this service terminated. Yes, uh, apparently it was a grand building. It had the island platforms here, there and everywhere as well as a very ornate front. But as you can see, there's nothing left. There is no signs of it, it's been totally redeveloped. So this service lasted till 1964. I believe the freight lasted till 1968. Hope you enjoyed the trip.